What's up, folks? This is Rich Osweiler coming to you from the 2014 NAMM Show in Anaheim, California for PremierGuitar.com. I'm at the Road to Sound booth with Jason Howe. He's going to tell us about six very cool new pedals they're, they're introducing here at NAMM. Uh, Jason, how's it going? Yeah, great show so far. Really busy. Um, actually, the busiest Thursday I remember yesterday out of the 20 odd years of coming to the show. So, Well, that's good stuff all around. Excited to be here. Right on. Well, Jason, I think uh, I think probably the easiest thing way to do this is just kind of go down pedal to pedal. Tell us a little bit about each one. Irene's going to do some demo for us so we can hear the sounds, and uh, let's take it from there. Okay, I can give you a little bit of history. Um, Rotor Sound in 1968 uh, come out with the fuzz pedal that was basically seen and used by Jimmy Page. So, although my father never really sold that many pedals, the whole thing of Jimmy Page using it on stage in 71 has kind of created this little bit of history uh, and interest. So two years ago we bought the fuzz pedal out and we sold a good number of these, um, all made in England, hand wired and made to the original spec as close as we could. Um, we kind of felt it was a waste just to do the fuzz pedal and not really carry on that sort of vibe. My sort of personal passion is a lot of late 60s music, a lot of psychedelic uh, West Coast American bands like 13 Fly Elevators, Scorby Alarm Clock, you know. So I wanted to do this kind of range of pedals which was for me, like you know, and if people like them that's great, but I wanted to do a range of pedals, just the regular phaser, chorus, tremolo, etc. in a 1960s kind of psychedelic style with nice bright colours, nice big pedals like they used to have with all the germanium circuitry. So I got together with a very old friend of my father's, a guy called John Oram, and he's known in England, or known over here, as the father of British EQ. He basically made all the EQ circuitry for a lot of their mixing desks in the 1970s. Bohemian Rhapsody was recorded through them and a lot of famous albums. So I got together with John and I said, look, let's try and make a really nice set of analog pedals and this is what we've come up with. Killer, well let's uh, let's give them a listen. Wanna start here? Okay, so the first one, I guess from the 1960s, the tremolo pedal's gotta be, it's a kind of must have, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, give that a, a blast. tremolo that was on the AC30 which I really personally love you know sure. um, so that's called the wobbler that's the tremolo pedal and up next we've got the uh, the phaser yeah it's called the King Henry that's the King Henry I think really maybe I should have called it the King Charles or the King who is the, who's the baby that's just been born anyway? Yeah, the, king, the King George. Anyway. <laughs> but anyway, it's the King Henry, so. Okay. And then up next, it looks like we've got the Crusader. That's the Crusader. get a really warm sound out of them and obviously a lot of these pedals are really well suited to clean clean sounds as opposed to your your fuzz right on what about these three okay we have a, an eq pedal uh, an analog delay true analog delay and a compressor and the compressor also we've added something into it that if you put it in at the end of the signal chain it almost acts like a noise noise gate noise okay. reduction so this is a really good pedal to have right at the end. Fattens the sound up, compresses it all, but also gets rid of any unwanted noise that's preceding uh, that. Right so. on. 
Well, Jason, are these available now? Yeah, these will start to be manufactured back literally when I get back to the factory next week. We're, okay. we're starting up production. And um, our American distributors, OMG Music, well, they have an order on already. Okay. Um, you know, so hopefully they're going to be out there pretty soon. So. Where can folks in our audience find out more about these new pedals? On our website, rotorsound.com. And, um, you know, if anybody emails us or contacts us, we give them information there. So. Appreciate your time, Jason. Yeah, thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Irene. Thanks, Jason. This is Rich Osweiler coming to you from the 2014 NAMM Show in Anaheim. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all the action this week. Thanks.